Desiree, the Occupy movement has gone mobile. Protesters are no longer relying on public parks to get the word out, but instead are going to public transit systems, and that includes the Valley Metro Light Rail. It seemed like just another early morning ride to work on the light rail this morning. Until this. There's 50 million people in poverty. The Occupy Phoenix movement took their efforts to the train in hopes of drumming up support for the nationwide movement. Can we buy you? Can we buy you? Can we buy you? People are finally starting to realize that, you know, th these problems are reaching a real critical level, so it's up to us to try to create you know, innovative, creative new ways to address these problems. There has been confusion among many about what the protesters want. This group says they are upset about the unemployment in this country and want to see change. It's time that we do something, and the only way to do something is to get the money out of politics. The protests this morning were loud. We are the 99 percent. And while there were a few passengers upset by the early commotion, we would also up. like to get a bunch of new Most of the protest was peaceful, with many passengers feeling the occupiers had a right to voice their opinion. Well, it's a freedom of speech. You can't stop it. I think that's good that they're taking action in something they believe in, as long as they're not interrupting other people's lives. And while the protesters were asked to leave by security, you can bet the Occupy train will keep on rolling. While their time on the light rail was short-lived, Phoenix occupiers will continue to protest at Cesar Chavez Plaza, where several scheduled events are set to take place this week. Live in downtown Phoenix, Ryan Herr, Crockett News.